Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors, and I want to show you how the brake warning light works. Let's take a look on the dash. This is a 1974 MGB, and if we press the brake warning light, you can see it come on. Now, what is this? Why is it here? And what does it do? All right, it's the brake warning light. It's hooked to the shuttle valve, which we'll show you in a minute underneath the bonnet. And if there's a difference in hydraulic pressure between your front braking circuit and your rear braking circuit, and you're too stupid to know that your foot's on the floor and your brakes are, are in crummy condition, that light will come on to tell you that there's a problem. Let's take a look underneath the bonnet here in our, in our brake warning light uh, switch. It's on the shuttle valve here. You see, see this guy here? Okay. And we can take this guy off. All right. And here's the, here's the switch. If you want to take the switch out of here, it comes out very easily. Matter of fact, this one comes out more easily than I would have ever expected. It's just this, just a spring loaded uh, switch. You can see me, I'm using the carburetor just, but see, it, it's a, just a spring loaded switch. If it leaks out of the shuttle valve, it's not because the switch is bad, it's because the shuttle valve is bad and it needs to be replaced. So here's our pair of wires, black with whites, that come on down to here. Now if we, I'm going to um, ground this and Danny's going to go back over and show you that our light, is our light on on the dash? Well, one of these should light it up. Is that lit? Okay, so that's lit. So that's because we've been grounding our plug. So we're going to go to the, uh, going to go to the chalkboard, and I'm going to show you the wiring and why this works the way it does. So here's the circuit of our brake warning light switch. We've got our battery, of course, that through various ways gets through the fuse box and into a purple wire here. And that purple wire comes to a bulb and from the bulb is one of the white with blacks and yeah, you know that's black with white isn't it? Black with white and this other one's a black with white and that runs down to our switch this is the switch that we saw down on the brake block and there's another wire that comes up from there and when we press on the switch we get a complete circuit it goes through the bulb down to our switch, there's a little junction here on the switch itself. It comes back up here through our switch into ground. So the light lights up. That makes sure that this wire is good down, down to the switch in the brake block. Now should your hydraulic circuit uh, pressure fail, there's a piston which can move this way or that way and as it does it comes up and presses against that pin. That pin comes up and closes closes this, but it also grounds grounds out. And by grounding out inside the shuttle valve, then our our uh, brake warning light comes on. So it's not an essential piece of your car. You don't have to have it. But if you want it to work correctly, you want to make sure that the bulb is good, the ground is good, and then our two black with white wires down to the shuttle valve are connected correctly. And remember, this does have a little junction down there inside the switch on the shuttle valve. Anyway, that's it for today. Oh, no, you want to you know about the late, one, late model ones from, um, uh, must be about 75 or 76 through the end? We'll have to wait on that. That's got diodes in it. That's a lot more complicated. Same idea, but more complicated. We'll see you guys tomorrow.